Well, a new book by Twin City Therapist aims to provide lighthearted and humorous suggestions for people experiencing stress and anxiety. It's called How to Stop Freaking the Blank Out. We have the authors live in studio with us this morning, Erin Pash and Kyle Keller. Thank you both for coming in. Thanks Thank for having us. This so this is, is cool. this is such a unique way of approaching mental health, the lighthearted, humorous side of things. Erin, tell us a little bit about the book and why you wanted to write it. Yeah, so Kyle and I, you know, we've we've had a varied background in lots of different mental health fields. And one of the things that we have found in our young careers that's made us really successful with, with our clients has been to bring humor to the really hard conversations that we have in therapy. Uh, we, we often see so many clients or have more clients than we can accommodate. And so we wanted to create a book that kind of showcased what we do inside of a therapy session and be able to bring it to people outside of a therapy session. Well, Kyle, just looking through the book here, if I can page through it a little bit, I mean, this is not your you know standard how-to book it's very easy just bullet points almost tell us a little bit some of the suggestions that are in here are quite funny for example you say pretend to be a cat tell us a little bit yeah. about what that means so yeah I think they're called listicles I think we determined that possibly that the steps are listicles um, yeah, one of them is to pretend to be a cat, and I don't, I don't know if anybody would be interested in trying that out. <laughs> um, uh, not this morning, no. no. Okay. Too early. But, but pretend to be a cat, play some air guitar, watch a pottery yeah. video. Like, wh Why do you suggest these things? What does it do? Well, these strategies can help people who are experiencing anxiety to redirect their attention to something that's more engaging, meaningful, and humorous. And humor is really important. It's universal, it exists in all cultures throughout history, and serves some really important adaptive functions in uh, the life of a human being. It's a very important tool for us. And Erin, uh, it's interesting how millennials are kind of taking a different approach when it comes to treating mental health, really focusing on removing the stigma. Why is that important? I think we're kind of, we're, we're a generation where we've had to adapt to technology and major changes that have kind of separated us from the human connection. And so one of the things that we want to do is normalize going to get mental health help um, and just kind of saying, you know, instead of taking out this word normal, bringing in this word normal and saying it's normal to get this help in these services. And the way to make it less scary and more approachable is to make it more funny. And um, so one of the things we did is we started to make our stigma reduction collection, as I call it. Um, some funny t-shirts just based on some fun things that we talk about. Um, and this is a little funny one. The amygdala is the thing in your brain that actually makes you anxious. Huh. So it's just a little t-shirt and uh, we're just trying to bring some new branding and bring marketing and really like influence the way people think and feel about mental health in a more positive way. Yeah, and just putting it out there and yes. removing that stigma, which is such a barrier for people wanting to get help. Real quick, tell us a little bit about uh, the Ellie Family Services that you founded. Yeah, so we started Ellie in uh, 2015, and it was kind of based on this idea that there's so many gaps in the mental health care field, um, and we want to try and fill them. We are... Uh, focus, we, we have four locations throughout the Twin Cities. We service over you know, 2,500 families, and we bring tons and tons of creativity to the work that we do um, just to really help meet families where they're at and meet their needs. Wonderful. Well, if you would like more information on the book or the services, you can head to LE Family Services website. You can also buy the book on Amazon and Atasca Books. Kyle and Erin, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you thank for you. having us.